Okay, um, we're Shardagedin, we've been together for about a year, uh, and it, it's all off the what back of, uh, uh, well, it's a kind of, uh, it's a name yeah, after, what it, well, it means Schadenfreude. What? What's Schadenfreude? Schadenfreude is when you get immense pleasure out of everyone's misfortune. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 I know you do that, Richard, yeah. Um, but Shardagedin means that you get so much pleasure, it's the end of the world pleasure it's so fucking mega sorry i swore is that okay um yeah. wasn't the end of the end of the world was meant to have happened a couple of days ago according to the mormons i think but it was shot again that it didn't yeah yeah, yeah. yes <laughs> so now we're, we're now stuck with another government and fucked up london system <laughs> Well, I don't know much about Croydon. I, I think uh, Vaughan wants yes, to tell us well, about Croydon. Croydon was a very interesting place. During the riots, they burned Croydon. And in a hot, and, and improved, well, it's debatable, but nevertheless, yeah, th th thank, thank you, Richie. But, uh, uh, nevertheless, actually, there is a number of cultural activities being done. Um, believe it or not, the sex spirit in our band and the bagpiper in our band both do Morris dancing in Croydon. So it is clearly a place where there is actually some sort of cultural activity going on. And so in homage to that and the fact that there is a bus called the 50, we have uh, written a song called Night Bus to Croydon. And we and we feel that you know potentially it might be something that would excite Prince Harry to so maybe listen to our work and go to Croydon. Go to Croydon, maybe. Go to Croydon, yeah. I, th I think maybe our, our defining song though is our final song, Home, uh, which is all about living in London. Well, attempting to live in London, but not being able to live in London really because you can't afford the rent. You don't live in London, do you? I really wouldn't live in London because I can't afford the rent. Our bassist Campo has arrived. Yeah, he, he's had a very late night. He also doesn't live in London, and this is half the point. We're in a band that gigs in London, but we can't even all live in London because of London house prices. And so, hence, we, we happen to know someone who may have camped at their parents' house, in a sense. And so we've written a song about that called Home. I mean, imagine waking up every morning seeing the crisp, clear grass, Birds tweeting, twittering. It, it does, but then you realise you're in a fucking tent in Lo and you're not even in London. You're in your parents' house, the, and this happens to a lot of people. And we, yeah, I think we're, we're kind of like really socially on the ball with our band. You know, we, we're trying to make some kind of political and social statements with everything that we do. So um, you know, everyone should come along and see us. Well, the political statement of Whoopi is um, well, basically there are a number of. Uh, issues within relationships that probably need to be resolved and perhaps well certainly Vaughan's relationships and Toby Carvery and Toby Carvery he's our sex ferret he's our sex ferret um, ultimately Whoopi Goldberg is about your woman's not very happy she, she needs some improvement in her sex life and quite frankly the only way it's going to happen is if you dress yourself up as Whoopi Goldberg and get down on your knees and fuck her proper <laughs> I don't know if I feel exactly the same way because I think that that there's always been this shit about, you know, uh, women have always been, you know, supposedly the ones that are in trouble. But actually, there's a lot of men abuse out there. Men are expected to do things. There's increasing pressure on men. We can't get erections all the time. In an age, in an age where vibrators are everywhere, 
we, you know, there's a lot of pressure on men. And Whoopi Goldberg really deals with that, doesn't it? Because it's about a man who's having to deal with with a woman who's got a Whoopi Goldberg fetish. And, and you know, sometimes men just want to have a picnic or a romantic night out, you know, just some talk, some poetry. Poetry? Shut up. And see, that's the problem. Exactly, that's the point. Motherfucker. Hey, exactly, exactly. Sing for me. But yeah, we're shot again and, and um, thank you very much for, for coming along tonight and, and listening thank to our you. tunes and, uh, and, in, and enjoying the night with us. We've, we've enjoyed seeing you. I hope you've enjoyed seeing us. And please come again. Thank you. What's your band called again? Uh, Shard Geddon. Shard Geddon. We, we've already, we've already <laughs> explained that. Yeah, and find, find, find us on Facebook. It's all fantastic recording on fullretardrecording.com. Oh, yeah, yes. that as well. Because our guitarist needs to find people to record music. We'll, we'll, we'll eventually get around to doing it. No!